Hi guys! Today we're going to be learning Listen to the Mockingbird. So I'm going to play the song first and then I'll talk a little bit about some strategies we should be using while we're practicing. <laughs> as you're looking at Listen to the Mockingbird. First, we're in the key of G major. We only have one sharp, it's F sharp. So any C you play is going to be C natural. So in measure three, you need to be playing second finger on the A string, not third finger. Now we have some new rhythms. In this song, we have 16th notes. So starting from the very beginning, we have 16th notes. <laughs> We're also starting on beat four in this song. So in your head, you're gonna count one, two, three, four, two, 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 one, two, two, rest, four, two, 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 one, two, two, rest. Now the trickiest part about this song is probably the rhythm, but once you get that down, it um, should be pretty easy for you. So uh, let's, let's talk about the first two measures again. I'll count it and then I'll play it. Four, two, 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 one, two, two, four, two, 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 two one, two, two, Okay, those are the first two measures. Um, and every time you have a rest and there's a comma over the note, we need to lift our bow. So I'll play that for you. Lift, lift. Okay, now in the next measure, we have something called syncopation. That's where the notes happen off of the beat. They're not on the main beat, they're on the te. So I'm gonna start in beat four of the second full measure. And if I was counting, it would sound like this. Forte, one, te, te, three, te, forte, one. Now I'll play that. Okay, so we're halfway through the song now. The next part just repeats what we played at the beginning, but we have a piano this time instead of a forte. Um, you'll notice at the beginning of the song, you have LH, that means lower half of the bow and we're playing forte. And then at the piano, it says M, that's for midpoint. So you're gonna to switch to the middle of your bow because it's a little bit lighter. So this is the second half starting at the pickup to the second line. Now, as we go to the end, we have that same syncopated rhythm, but the notes change a little bit and we crescendo back to forte. So here's the last couple of measures starting in the pickup to the last two measures. Okay, so the biggest thing to focus on for this song is definitely the rhythm. Make sure you're getting those rests and those lifts in there. I recommend practicing with a metronome. I'm gonna turn my metronome on and play it for you so you can hear what that sounds like. And I'm gonna put my metronome on 100, 100 exactly. I had to check my music there. Um, and that's the tempo you should be work working towards. But when you're practicing, definitely start slower and then get faster. Can you hear my dog? He's scratching himself. All right, here I go. This is with a metronome from the beginning. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, now you might notice you have a repeat at the very end. You actually do not need to worry about that repeat. Just play it one time and you'll be fine. One last thing to talk about before we finish, there are accents. Um, if you look in the measure, like measure three, where we have our syncopated rhythm, you have an accent on the quarter note. That's the triangle thing. So we go. <laughs> 
make sure you get that accent in there, just move a faster bow at the beginning of the note. And that's it, that is Listen to the Mockingbird.